Hi everybody, it's Julie, and I have my journal ready. I'm going to go ahead and start and make some embellishments. I have an Ideals magazine or book. Okay, this was Ideals Christmas. I picked this up a few years ago, a couple years ago, from Spectrum Art Creations. I am trying to use my stuff, and I'm going to use this piece. I actually went through so many um, papers looking for the right color for what I want to do. I'm going to be decorating this envelope, okay? And so I want to use this. And so I'll be putting that. I have this um, dictionary. I have this large sticker that I also got from Spectrum Art Creations. I'll be using Spectrum Art Creation glue. And I am going to use the this image, I believe, from the, um, the brand new Pink Birds digital kit from Dear Julie Julie. And so, wish me luck. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and um, we're going to put our glue on the outside of the envelope. Okay. So on the envelope. And then I'm going to, it's like, do I want the yellow more or where's the, where's the more pink? Oh, I think we want this side more, okay? Um, let's see. I should have waited to add my to add my glue. Oops. <laughs> Bloopers are left in today. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut my page. Uh, Right there. Okay. And let's see. Cut my page right there. So, yeah. So, just so you know, you don't need to always be using your... Um, images because of the images it might be because of the color it, or like on a magazine like this it's usually the words that I'm looking for or specific pictures okay we're still pretty wet but I'm going to go ahead and add add more this is the Tombow mono glue stick it is a permanent glue stick i love this glue stick especially with napkins and so go ahead and put this on here i'm gonna end up with a little bit of stuff going on around the outside we can just ball the glue up that was left. Okay, there we go. I love, love, love that. Okay, and then I have, I think I'm going to go with captivating, the captivating side. And since we've already started with it being ripped, and you know me and my numbers, I... I'm going to go for that number right there, the number 65. We're going to go ahead and rip the column out of this. I was looking for my steno paper. So I had gotten some steno paper a while back, um, also from Spectrum Art Creation, and that's what I wanted to use. Um, but, you know, I, could, of course, couldn't find it. Okay, so we're going to come down here. And rip that across. And again, I'm going to use the glue stick. 
So the um, envelope that I picked is a vintage envelope. Uh-oh. I lost the... Oh, there it is. Okay. I was like, uh-oh, I lost the lid. Okay, so now I want my tree... I think this is so cool. I, I haven't gotten to use these large stickers yet. The small ones are easy to find your spot. Okay, let's come down here because I'm going to be cutting this bottom off anyway. There we go. Okay. There we go. And we'll add it on here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Okay. I don't know where my resist the sticky scissors have gone to. Just kind of a bummer because when I'm cutting stickers, I really like to have them. Okay, so there's that piece. I'm going to put it on my glue bottle because I might want to use that somewhere in the journal. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love, I love it. Okay, so I keep forgetting these patches. I keep thinking there's something on me. Okay, so next I have these birds. I have this, I have the single one. You know what? Let's go ahead and see what we think of the, of the single one. Okay, yeah, I like that. So I'm layering. I'm layering. Layer, layer, layer. Okay. Okay, so I'm trying to use things that I haven't used before. Um, so for use with cosmic shimmer flake and glitter glue, got it. Oh, no, this is my fluffy stuff. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is my, this is my, um, specialist acrylic glue. Well, we'll try it. Oh my gosh. That's fluffy stuff. I forgot that I got fluffy stuff. Okay. Um, well, we're going to try this. Everything is protected. It's like, okay, so <laughs> it's childproof. I can't get in. <laughs> okay. I was like, okay, what else do I have over here that I've I got from from them that I haven't gotten to use yet? And so this definitely would be one of the things. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some here. Let's see. I don't have, where's my tweezers? Where's my, where's my magic tweezers? <laughs> It'll be dry before I, I get to it. So do you have something that you have in your stash that you haven't used yet? I challenge you to pull something out that you haven't used. Oh, here's the Cricut ones. These are hard from, these are like backwards to me. Okay, there we go. So we'll go with that. We'll put it on there. Okay. I 
think you're supposed to be able to pull it off of where you put it. Right? So let's go and put some over here. I was thinking of like having it in a corner is what my idea was. Now, <laughs> I might be doing this wrong. You guys, I don't, I don't get to a lot of the classes. There's no, I buy the stuff thinking that I'm going to get to learn how to get to go and don't get to go. That is working though. Wow. Oh gosh, this is cool. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm going to have gilded flakes on my... Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm sure I'm doing it wrong, but I like it anyway. Okay. I wonder if I should keep going across this. Tom is on his way home. I made tacos last night. They were so good. Um, I, um, we, we hadn't been to the store and I, you know, we didn't have, you know, we didn't have to buy tomatoes. Like for a long time, we haven't had to buy tomatoes. Well, now we have to buy tomatoes because tomatoes are all been harvested and I didn't have any so I used diced tomatoes and actually it was not bad it was not you know like my cool tomatoes from my garden that have been amazing okay I'm going to go ahead and How do you get it off? Get it back in the... So the the gold is gold on both sides. Really cool. So I wonder if I can get a piece right in there. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I'm going to... Uh, that's good enough. So this was Cosmic Shimmer Gilding Flakes. And I used my Comic Shimmer Acrylic Glue. It might not be the right glue. Might, might not be the one I was supposed to use. But I really like the way that turned out. Now I also have... Um, I, got, I got a second set. So I got this set from Spectrum Art Creations. And so let's see if we can... These colors are different than, I want something kind of pink. Ooh, I like that, I like that right there. I like that, kind of looks like a stamp. Mm, I like that. Okay, we're gonna put that right up here. Okay, and then I have when I was when I was up here doing something else, sorry I moved that. I found this. I love. Okay, so this is the washi, the really thick washi. This is my favorite thing. I think one of my favorite things I've ever bought from from them. And it says Daisy, which cracks me up. So I'm gonna put that. Daisy is my favorite flower. 
and um, I'm actually going to use this envelope on the cover of this of my journal my personal personal journal okay I'm going to take the daisy word off of there put that down there I like this because it's got the pink. Okay. So how many things can you put on here? <laughs> and I really like the daisy. So I'm putting that on there. It says daisy on the rose, which always cracks me up. Okay. Okay. So then what I'll do is, so we've got the sticker, the Ideals Magazine, the Washi, the Gilding Flakes, um, and I'm going to use uh, these daisies because it does say daisy. These are from, from my stash, and if I go ahead and you saw, I use these in the, the Cardinal Journal. That was my December journal. So are you guys excited about January's challenge? Just junk. I am I am so excited. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and put this down here. Okay. And that is going to be on my cover. Um, okay. Okay, now it's also going to be able to open and have um, something inside of it, and it will have a double tuck behind it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and double tuck. So put it down as a double tuck looking for my my glue so also from spectrum art creations my xl tombow mono xl i love this glue okay Okay, so there is that, and it's going to go like this. Okay, now I have a little something that I picked up at Dollar Tree. And it's insert cards. Okay, so it's the gold piece that goes on the inside of the card. Don't I have, I have like the gold that goes on the inside of a card. Huh, okay. Well, anyway, did you see how I put that down there? I put it down so that you have two spots underneath here. And I think instead of worrying about all that that I'm worried about, I'm going to go ahead and cover this with this instead. Okay? Okay, so to do that, I'm going to go ahead and come up. I, I've got this down here. Okay, got that down there. I'm going to go ahead and come up and fold this down. Okay, fold that down. And then I'm going to come and do the same thing on this direction. I'm 
fold that down. And that's going to give me where I need to cut this or rip it. as well it's, it's sitting here okay so this is my envelope and now I'm um, I'm going to decorate the inside of my envelope okay just like that and I'm going to put that over the top of it and we'll add glue now I have done like a second place that you can put something small in here. I'm not going to do that on this one, but that is a possibility. Okay, so if we go up, go up, and then we can just, there we go. Look at that. Okay, there's that. So I can keep keep some things right inside there. Um, but the, isn't this awesome? We used one of those large stickers. So let me show you. It came with these these stickers. There's I think there's one more also. I think it was just four. Um, but I, I I love that. I love I love that. Okay, so next I have some uh, of the fabric from Big Mama. She is a part of our community, and she sent me this in Happy Mail, and I want to use this um, as this is my personal journal. And so I'm going to start with this little area here, and so I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. And I'm going to use fabric tack. So um, I like my journal to be pretty. Um, I like it not to usually have as much stuff going on as go is going on here. But um, I, 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 it makes me happy to use it. Again, this is a list journal that I use for my goal setting, and then I'll use it throughout the year for different things that I'm trying to keep track of. And so right here, I want to, I don't, I, I want to go all the way over the peach but I don't want to lose too much of that tree. I love that tree. Okay. So there. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay. Then I'm going to bring this over on this side. to the end of the big bottle. That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, we cannot run out of fabric tech at this time. I don't have, I don't have time to go get more. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go across and I'm going to come, okay. I'm going to come across here. Okay. I'm going to come across. And we want to make sure that it sticks. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this across. I'm okay that some of the peach is going to show up. That is fine. Okay. I'm going to bring
bring this in at the top. And I'll bring this piece in down here. And I'll put that, I'll glue that down better. Okay, so we'll bring that piece in. Okay, I want to take this off. Okay, I want, I want to be able to use that somewhere else. So, let's see if we can get in here and Remember the other day I said Okay, so we're going to take it apart. And this is going to um, make the back of this more sturdy, more on purpose. Like, what happened there? Oh, I actually got fabric instead of the stitching. <sighs> there we go. There we go. Just like Pretty pink thread. So have you gotten to use any antique or vintage quilting in your journals? I another one of my favorite things when when I have it. You saw I used a piece that she had given me on the side by side Christmas journal. I love the way that turned out. The colors were perfect. And then look at this. This, I think this is perfect. And I could be using the Patreon, um, what the Emerald Patreons got in their kit. I could be using that this time also. They got blue um, things this time. Okay, so let's go ahead and Okay, we're going to put glue on this pink one. Pink. Pull it over. And lay it down. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to come over to this side, and let's go ahead and these are the stupidest scissors. They're good for paper, though. Maybe not no more, now that I used them on. Maybe that's why they're not good on fabric, though, is because I used them on paper, right? Okay, there we go. So let's, um, okay, we're going to bring this in and bring this over also. I guess we're kind of covering up the pocket down here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and... We're going to close the pocket <laughs> there, but we'll open it here, okay? So we'll, we'll leave the pocket open here, just the bottom part, but the corners will be closed. That's how we'll do it. Okay, here we go.
Okay. So I'll open the pocket, put that in it. So that is the back. This is the front. I love it. Okay, we have this happening. So um, I still have to decide how I'm gonna, and I've got this that I can use inside. Okay, I love it. Love it, love it. Okay, so um, I need to go through and I need to glue the pocket still. And so, but I wanted to show you um, doing the cover. And I'm really very happy with that cover. Now, I actually think I, it could have just a really pretty little lace cover. Um, what happens is I don't usually close mine. Once it's once I start using it, it kind of stays nice and closed. So I'm gonna do this for now. And um, I think that'll be, be good enough. Like I said, I'm not gonna be really adding much more in here, um, but we will come back and we'll do that tomorrow. And so I hope you'll join us tomorrow and um, let me know what you think so far. It, oh my gosh, it feels amazing. And it's a file folder. It's a file folder. You probably have a file folder hanging around. You probably have an envelope. Um, you can just add some fabric. You can just uh, layer, layer, layer your stuff on the front. And so, uh, yeah, I think uh, it might be kind of fun to go ahead and just uh, take this and shine it up a little. So added a little shiny gold on there. Um, okay, I I love it. I love it. So I, I'm gonna still think about some type of closure here that will keep that down. Um, but there, that is, I think that's a great start. Okay, what do you think? And oh, let me let me show you what we've got because you haven't seen since we um, took it to and got it and had it bound in the Patreon. Okay, so um, this is what we have. It's a hundred and one pages, and we have the flip out here, this pocket, ledger, map. We have another pocket here. We have several um, pages that we can use right in a row. These will probably get used for my looking forward, looking back. And there's the flip. We've got this and this and these. Another flip. Now remember, we can go ahead and um, take one of these flips and turn it into a double pocket. And that's probably what I'll do. Um, probably, let's see. Mm, that one might be a good, yeah. This will probably be our, the one that we'll do as a double pocket. So we'll glue it down. And then we'll have a double pocket here that two things can go in. Okay. And then that one can still be a flip. Another map. Another pocket. More lined pages. 
I think the line pages were all groups of three. We have the graph paper flip and we have the center right here. This is our center and then we've got this that we can um, go ahead and I think we'll, um, ha you know what, let's just go ahead and glue that right there and it can be a double tuck. Which glue will come out? Okay. Okay, so that can be a double tuck there. We'll be able to put something here and something here. And then on top of that, we can cut this and something can be in here okay so this is our center we've got another pocket here and we'll go down the other side more lined papers a pocket i will glue all these and so look at all of that more lined paper okay so we're going to come back tomorrow We'll add those pockets. We'll add some other um, fun things. And this will be ready for us to go ahead and do our look back to look forward. Again, it's the goal setting that I've done. You can go ahead and if you don't want to wait, you can go ahead and look it up on the Dear Julie Julie channel. I've done it several years. So... Um, you can find the, the plan there. Okay. I could, you guys, I could go ahead and glue this. How about that one? Glue that one down. I think that's a good idea. Okay. So, We'll um, put this down underneath that. I love it. Okay. So Pink Bird, the digital is available in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. Uh, we'll be back and we're going to use those and... Um, Go ahead and fill this in. I love the way this turned out. So Spectrum Art Creations, um, they will be back and doing their sales on Saturdays beginning um, in January. So do check them out. It's been fun to be able to shop with them online, especially when we weren't able to go out and shop. But they get all the things, um, all the things that you're your scrapbook stores and that many of us don't have anymore um you know your local scrapbook store that would have all the wonderful different papers they get all that okay and they work really well with dear julie julie digitals um okay i am gonna go and i'll see you tomorrow have an amazing day bye bye bye